There are three quantities that appear again and again in structural analysis to do with materials. These are stress, uh, strain and Young's modulus, which have the standard definitions as given here. But what are these quantities and why are they so useful? And to see what, why we use them, imagine testing a piece of material, uh, as in the red diagram here. Maybe it has a cross-sectional area of one unit, uh, maybe it has a length of four units. When we apply a force to it, it will extend by an amount delta, and we could uh, plot the extension as in the graph on the right. Well, that's fine, but if we took a second piece of the material, which maybe had a slightly different cross-sectional area, maybe two units, and we did the same thing, put it in the machine and recorded the results, then we'd get a different plot. And the reason for this, of course, is that because it has a bigger cross-sectional area, we would need to apply a bigger force to get the same deflection. If we then took a third piece of the same material, and this time a piece that was a bit longer, say six units rather than four, but with a cross-sectional area of one unit again, then we'd get a third plot in our diagram, because the, the longer sample means that we need to apply a lower force to get the same deflection. So what we're finding is that we're measuring structural properties rather than material properties. So what we want to do is find a means of getting rid of the area and the length of the specimens. So we are recording information that relates just to the material. So the first thing we could do is divide the force in each case by the area. This is the quantity we call stress. If we did that, what we'd find is that the first two samples, where the area differs but the length is the same, would now give us plots which are the same. They're on top of each other because we've removed the area, the only difference from the calculations. However, the third sample, which was longer, would still give us a different plot um, because we haven't done anything about the varying length yet. We've still got some structural uh, effects in, in, in our test. So what we can now do is remove the effect of length by dividing the extension by the original length. That, of course, is the property known as strain. And if we do that, if we plot stress against strain, we're now property, plotting properties that are simply to do with the material behavior and don't have any geometric effects in there. And so we now have three curves which are on top of each other. Our final number, the Young's modulus, is simply the gradient of this stress versus strain line, and it's a measure of how stiff a material is, or how, how much it deforms when we apply a force to it.